and Caroline Kennedy not getting on a plane because she's a Kennedy to meet William and Kate. I don't know if our U.S. ambassador to Australia has an issue with planes, uh, but there was a weather system that day. But in fact, there were two weather systems that I think Caroline Kennedy was trying to avoid. Yes, there was one over Boston um, and New York. I was in it. Um, but the bigger storm I think she was trying to miss was Tropical Storm Lady Hussey. I think that's the real reason. She didn't want to have to answer that issue. Uh, and frankly, I don't blame her. I wouldn't either. So she sidestepped it. John Kerry maybe did as well. They said he was sick. But there was no good in her being there at that opening ceremony. She eventually did see William and Kate um, at the garden. Um, and they met there and then they were at the ceremony, so on and so forth. But um, I think I'm at the part of the programming right now as a PR practitioner and a mother where I want the story to go away. <laughs> I don't want it to be about team William and Kate and team Harry and Meghan anymore. I think the ultimate PR flex would be team family. Like if they, all four of them just got together and just hashed it out, just the four of them, and just hashed it out. No, no King Charles, no Lady Hussies, <laughs> and, and ladies like Lady Hussy, and just hash it out and give each other all a break, right? Um, but I think who deserves that level of scrutiny that we're putting on Harry and Meghan and William and Kate, let's shift that to people like uh, Daniel Snyder, <laughs> the owner of the Commanders, the NFL team. The story that just broke that he was um, evading testimony, misleading testimony. Those are the types of people that we should scrutinize. Okay? So team family, and let's move on and focus on the team commanders and what's going down with the NFL. That's where we need to start making some changes for everyone. Okay, moving on.